Little Vera is a groundbreaking Soviet coming-of-age film released in 1988. The film follows a rebel child, her family, and friends throughout everyday, middle-class Soviet life. This film was released right before the collapse of the Soviet Union, and the political tension of the country is very present in the film. In this video essay, I will be showing you how specifically the cinematography in Little Vera paints a portrait of the atmosphere in the country at the time, and how it allows the viewer to live the middle-class Soviet life with the characters. To begin, I'd like to define cinematography. I will be referencing cinematography as the way a single shot is crafted. I like to assume that every shot in every film is placed there with purpose, and everything you see on screen is intentional. The cinematography of a film includes the angles, framing of the characters, and what is being shown in the frame. Basically, the literal choice of where to put the camera. The cinematography of Little Vera is rough around the edges, cramped and simple, mirroring the Soviet lifestyle. This can largely be attributed to the handheld non-stationary camera look. Every shot in the film is at least a little bit shaky, with some shots extremely unstable. This is not a bad thing. This mimics documentary style filmmaking and adds a significant amount of realism. This technique makes the fictional elements feel non-fiction and immerses the audience in the story. The shakiness also creates a less polished product, mimicking the unrest and roughness the country felt at the time. The next elements I'd like to note are the angles and framing of the shots. Everything feels cramped or crowded. The camera often chooses to tightly frame the characters. An article from Russian Cinema Reader put it best when they said, quote, A closed and confining society emerges from such scenes as the chaotic outdoor dance arena surrounded by police with guard dogs, reminiscent of the labor camps. In Vera's claustrophobic apartment, the camera cannot show any room in its entirety. End quote. The Soviets are trapped in their environment while they desire to escape. The camera framing reveals that they have nowhere to escape to. A review by Andrew Horton from 1989 further explains this. Quote, Vera is at the same time empty and cramped, and she is empty of the cues as to how to break out of her environment. End quote. Also, the camera placement looks like it was put where a spectator would be standing in the room or environment pictured in a shot. This point of view leaves the viewer feeling like an unattended to bystander or an extra family member no one is acknowledging. You can even catch the camera surveying a new room like a person would, panning around, getting a feel for the environment. Watching the film while paying attention to this bystander point of view is really fun and adds an extra layer of realism that the filmmakers are already achieving. Lastly, I'd like to discuss how simple the shot composition is. This film strays away from anything abstract, bold, or experimental. Instead, each shot in Little Vera has just enough information to entertain and develop the plot, but nothing more. Also, the viewer is never left guessing at what is happening at a certain moment. This can be described as amateur or basic. However, it is powerful and purposeful. Most of the time, the camera shows exactly what the human eye would see. This adds to the realism of the film and is the most digestible style of filmmaking. This simplicity also complements the undecorated lives of the 1980s Soviet that the characters represent.